Outside the office of the Legal Aid Scheme, these people wait to apply for help. They have come from across the city with all manner of cases but cannot afford legal representation. The scheme will offer them legal advisory services, alternative dispute resolution services, and legal representation in all criminal and civil matters. However, the scheme is also suffering. Its biggest woe is space. Currently, it occupies a section of the ground floor of the Council for Law Reporting Building. It affords its only seven rooms to operate both the head office and the regional office. You look in their offices, you have all the lawyers, four of them, in one room. There's scarcely any space to move in the place. You ask yourself, how does the person who needs the assignment from the lawyer, where does the person sit? How does the person interact with the lawyer? There are those challenges. The conference room now plays host to multiple alternative dispute resolution sessions at a time. During lunch break, it becomes a pantry for the workers. Two lawyers and an intern occupy this small office, making their outrageous workload more cumbersome. There's no office space for lawyers, for the mediators, for office staff. There's no air condition, you have to work in the heat. There's no computers to work with, printers. Sometimes you don't even have chairs for the applicant to sit on. I'm more comfortable. How do you expect me to be, to be so, so nice to applicant? Most of the time I'm tired. It's warm in here. However, the solution to this congestion lies only a few meters away. This 10-story building is expected to provide new space for the legal aid scheme and other law offices, but has been abandoned for the past eight years. Well, so this is the scene here on the corridors of the legal aid office here in Accra. Every morning, dozens of people troop in to see only four lawyers or four mediators here. With the very few number of staff to treat them, the process is definitely a slow one. Ideally, it will take at least 10 lawyers and 10 mediators to handle the cases that come here daily. With no financial clearance to employ more hands, Mabel Sasa has been working here without pay for two years now. So we don't have an office space and we don't have computer. This is my personal laptop I use for the work. And before I can print, I have to be moving from one office to the other. At the moment, it's only one HP, small HP printer which is working. So we are all using that printer to print. Last year, the scheme received 11,464 cases nationwide, out of which it successfully resolved 7,709 of them. 3,377 of the cases came from the Accra office alone. Meanwhile, at the reception, the scheme has received another case. 31-year-old Gertrude Kote is here with her second case after her husband ejected her from her home. Her plight was worsened with a slow process at the scheme. Just the day I spent the whole day here because there was not enough laptop for them to draft down the issue before it will get to the lawyer to go through, before it can be signed, then they will give you the court to go and all that. As at now, I'm waiting for one of the office staff to take care of my issue because there is no laptop. Their frustration is echoed by the many who are still waiting their turn outside. As long as the legal aid scheme remains literally a forgotten state institution, this will not be the last time she and other beneficiaries will voice out such complaints. Reporting for City News from the Legal Aid Scheme Office here in Accra, my name is Ni Ama Ama.